hanging out with Thor because we're talking Golden Globes. We're Good all morning. excited. Amy Poehler, yeah. Tina Fey. What's Sunday? Through four four o'clock? Five o'clock. The actual broadcast starts four o'clock for the red carpet if you want to see all that. But yeah, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, a third time, and this will be their final one. Uh, Amy Poehler doing her book tour back in October said, uh, there's nowhere to go but down, <laughs> and uh, basically said it's the law of diminishing returns. This will be the last <laughs> time they will co-host, and I'm sure they're going to go on a high note. It's always a fun affair, and the two of them have such great chemistry together. Um, you know, it's obviously a night known for the imbibing and the alcoholic beverages, so some loose lips oftentimes, and that makes for a very entertaining award show, not like the dry and sometimes stuffy Oscars. This is a very nice alternative. Well, you know, it's really a master's class in hosting those first yeah. 10 minutes to see the commentary uh, they have of, you know, what's happened over the last little while. How do they choose the winners? Because with the Oscars, there's, what, 6,000 film professionals? Who's choosing the winners for the Golden Globes? This is the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, so you've got more of a global scale, and you've got a lot of sort of international voters, a much bigger voting body. Uh, so in that sense, the uh, the winners usually sort of mirror the Oscars, but they are, they are sort of able to tweak some in certain categories. What I like about the Golden Globes, it's frustrating for some, but they do split up the Best Picture nominees into categories based on comedy, musical, and then drama. So at the Oscars, you're only left with one Best Picture, whereas at the Golden Globes, you're able to split it up between two categories. And that's where we'll start with the Best Picture uh, for comedy or musical. Let's run down the nominees right okay. now and take a look at uh, who's the, the front runner. Birdman, the uh, Inuritu uh, film with Michael Keaton about a uh, uh, former action star trying to launch a Broadway musical. The Grand Budapest Hotel from Wes Anderson. Into the Woods, Disney's uh, adaptation of the Stephen Sondheim Broadway musical. Pride, which is a British film about a group of uh, gay rights activists in the 80s who banded together with uh, a miners' uh, strike and uh, basically found some common ground in Wales. And St. Vincent, that was a bit of a surprise, a uh, comedy with Bill Murray about a sort of a curmudgeonly neighbor who befriends Melissa McCarthy's son. I have to say, Birdman's going to take this one. Uh, so many accolades going around for Inuritu. Uh, technically, because because the film is uh, all designed to look like one continuous shot. Uh, it's a very acerbic, satiric look at celebrity culture, social media, and Broadway. Michael Keaton also getting a lot of buzz for his performance, launching a comeback of sorts. Into the Woods could surprise people. That's that Meryl Streep, right? Yes, right. yeah, Chris Pine, Anna Kendrick. A lot of singing in that one. I could see that one possibly being a bit of a dark horse, but the buzz right now, the momentum is building for Birdman. So that leaves best drama, and I think I know where he's going with you think? this category right here. <laughs> it's a bone yeah. of contention for Riaz. Well, look at the nominees first. Here's Best Picture Drama. Boyhood, Foxcatcher, The Imitation Game. That's the uh, Alan Turing movie with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch where he plays the codebreaker. Selma, I just reviewed that earlier, the Martin Luther King biopic. Selma looks really good. Four out of five, yeah. And The Theory of Everything, the Stephen Hawking film right. with Eddie Redmayne. It's going to go to Boyhood. I mean, this is Richard Linklater's crowning achievement. It took him 12 years to make this odyssey, the journey of one boy growing up in Texas. And he had the actors uh, together with uh, with his own daughter, Lorelai Linklater, this boy, Eller Coltrane. Uh, Patricia Arquette and Ethan uh, Hawk. They got together for a couple of weeks each year over a 12 year span and chronicled uh, what it is to be like growing up. Trials and tribulations, little moments, uh, power of editing and screenplay make up this brilliant film and I really think it's going to take it. And I'm calling it right now, Boyhood's going to win Best Picture at the Oscars. It's so funny because honestly, full disclosure, fourth wall comes down here because these two guys, <laughs> between Thor and Riaz, have such polar opposite opinions yeah. of Boyhood. It's going to be fascinating to see if it does win. I'm, I but I think I'm, I stand alone on uh, not loving Boyhood the way critics have embraced it, and I know you're a big fan Maybe of it. Maybe you'll revisit it. Uh, I don't think I will. I, I <laughs> yeah, it was area, 12 years. One of my favorite films of the year, and it felt like 12 years sitting 12, through for 12 you, 12 years right? to make, 13 years to watch. That's my tagline <laughs> for Boyhood. But, go. hey, it's going to be an exciting award show. Can't wait, yeah. Everybody yeah. loves the Fresh Monday. Prince of Bel-Air, so. <laughs> yeah.